Do you ever wonder if there's any possibility to grow fig trees in such a cold climate? You might be surprised, but it actually is pretty possible. Traditionally, people from our Italian or Greek communities have this tree in their gardens. But how is it possible in such a cold USDA zone? We have cold winters here, with temperatures dropping to negative 35 degrees Celsius, when this Mediterranean tree can survive up to a low negative 15 degrees Celsius. So it's quite simple. But to start off, I would like to say a few words about fig tree propagation by cutting. Of course, you can buy ready potted fig trees from your local garden center, but it also is pretty easy to propagate at home. I'm going to take cuttings in the fall or the springtime from a de-leafed tree about 25 centimeters in length and about one centimeter in diameter from one to two years old branches. For successful rooting, the humidity is very, very important. In the winter, springtime, or indoors, the normally the humidity in the house is low. And without proper protection, the cuttings might actually dry out. So to prevent this from happening, you can submerge the fig cutting into a melted wax bath, leaving about five centimeters of the bottom part to be used later for rooting, or you can just put into a glass jar to cover for the greenhouse effect. Fig tree cuttings actually grow roots pretty fast and there's absolutely no need to use synthetic root hormones, but if you do wish, you can use some natural root stimulations. Please watch our video on plant rooting and cloning from stems cuttings with natural hormones. We will put that link below in the description. Make sure you have one or two growing buds on top of your cutting and use about a six to seven inch pot with rich garden soil. So when taking cuttings, make sure that it is of a f common fig variety like brown turkey, Celeste, or Chicago. The tree bearings that bear only female flowers, they do not need pollination for fruiting since the fruit can develop through parthenocarpic ways. This is a popular horticulture fig for some home gardeners. They are frost resistant. Just take a look at my two year old tree. These green leaves have survived maize frosts up to negative five degrees Celsius with minimum damage. The fig tree develops as a hollow fleshy structure called the syconium that is lined internally with numerous unisexual flowers. The tiny flowers bloom inside this cup like structure. Although commonly called a fruit, the syconium is botanically an infructescence, a type of multiple fruit. The small fig flowers and later small single seeded fruits line the interior surface. So in essence, it is really a fleshy stem with a number of flowers. So it is cons considered both a multiple and accessory fruit, typical for all of the genus Ficus. So planting your cuttings in the spring or the winter by April or May, the young fig tree will end up looking like this. Surprisingly enough, by the end of the first summer or maybe even one year in, the fig trees may begin to bear fruits. That is how fast we can begin to see fruits from this tree. And while it is growing, I need to change the pot every year or so for a bigger pot with more rich fertilized soil. Just remember that the pot is everything that this fig tree has. Of course, there is a limit. For a large fig tree pots, people use barrels, big plastic urns, or homemade wooden boxes. The pot can become very heavy, so I do suggest transporting it on a trolley or anything like that. Better yet, just keep it on the trolley if you can, so you don't have to take it on and off. So in the fall, when the leaves become yellow, around October, November, you're going to need to find a new place to store your fig tree. It needs to be somewhere with a temperature range from about negative five to 15 degrees Celsius. It can be dark and humid since the fig trees don't need much light in the winter. They just need good soil that has to be wet all the time. A good place for this is a garage, a basement, a wine cellar. In the nature, fig trees can grow up to four meters. So it will be smart to trim the size of your crown of the tree during March or April when the last frost is over I will take my tree outside and I will start a new cycle 
please let me know in the comment section if you know any other way of storing fig trees over the winter in the cold climates. And thank you so much for watching.